For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet, reporting from the annual scientific meeting of the American College of Rheumatology in Atlanta, Georgia. Ultrasound guidance for knee injections significantly improved outcomes for osteoarthritis patients. In a randomized trial of 94 knees, ultrasound reduced pain during the procedure by 42% compared with standard palpation. Ultrasound is being used presently for injections and there really aren't good outcome studies to determine whether this increased accuracy provides better results and whether it increases or, or reduces costs. What insights have you gained from your results? Well, first, the needle often is not in the joint, even though physicians think it is. And because of that, that one thing that we've done, whether we use ultrasound or not, is use longer needles than we did before. The, the second is that when physicians place the needle, they often touch pain-sensitive areas, and that with ultrasound, one can avoid those pain-sensitive structures so it's less painful. And finally, it, it emphasizes the proper placement of the medication while minimizing the trauma the needle does to the joint is critical for outcome. Because uh, when people do a palpation-guided injection, often they move the needle around substantially until they feel it's in the right place. And once, it's in, once that happens, there's bleeding within the synovium, and that itself may induce inflammation and cause a poor outcome. So the facts that ultrasound first is less painful, two, provides better outcomes, uh, three, the outcomes last longer, that is the medication is more effective over a long period of time, and that it reduces the need for other medical procedures, that is re-injection or referral to surgery. Is ultrasound guided injection feasible for most clinicians at this time? Once the ultrasound machine is acquired, virtually anybody can learn how to do it, but it's a flat learning curve. So one, one must actually practice, one must uh, uh, develop the skills to use it. But it, it will become an increasingly, uh, increasing part of the musculoskeletal clinic, not just in rheumatology, but also in sports medicine and, and orthopedics. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet, 